You made this mess. I'm disgusted. Hey guys, it's Indeli and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, I have a confession to make. I've kind of hid this from you guys and I've put off telling you for a long, long time. And I think it's finally time to tell the truth. Um, I'm a hoarder. Yes, that's right. I put random things in random places. I don't know why I can't just put things back where they belong. But I've made a New Year's resolution to finally clean out every single drawer, every single bookshelf, every single wardrobe that I have in my room and I thought I would make a video of it. So let's get to cleaning. First off I'm going to start with my wardrobe. Now I just wanted to say that my clothes aren't the best, they're not all Gucci and Nike and Adidas and just like designer brands like that um, but I wanted to show you guys that you don't need to have the best things to be a YouTuber to make content. Um, I know a lot of people are like oh but people might judge me on my clothes or my room or what I wear but I think this video is kind of a reminder that you don't need to have the best stuff to be a YouTuber. So I'm just going to give you a warning that this is going to be the worst wardrobe you've ever seen. This is going to be a completely new side to me um, and it's going to be horrendous in here. <sighs> let's just, let's just do it. I'm going to open the doors. Oh my gosh. This is horrendous. I barely wear anything out of this wardrobe. I wear like a couple of these skirts, maybe this jumpsuit, but this is horrendous. I can't believe I'm showing this on the internet. Oh my God. I've kind of put this off for like a really long time. And I'm like, nah, I'll clean it tomorrow. And I usually leave the top shoes that I wear just like out in the open and I don't pay any attention to the shoes that I don't even wear. I've got this shoe organizer, it's an as seen on TV product and I think I'm just going to put my shoes under my bed because clearly when I chuck them in this tiny little container they don't all fit and they just build up to a giant mountain. So we're going to open up the shoe organizer. It has instructions which, why would you need instructions? Whoa this is not what I um, I'm a bit confused because there's actually no zipper to like unzip this. Oh, here it is. It doesn't even have a little, it's just like a little arm hole thing. Okay, well, we don't really have anything else. It doesn't even fit a shoe. It does not even fit a shoe. Look at that. I mean, I'm just really confused at who made this. Like, are you okay? If you had a lot of shoes, like, I don't know, maybe Jeffree Star or something, this would not be practical. I mean, I don't think Jeffree Star is buying as seen on TV products anyways. Well, I just broke one of these separators because how are these shoes here supposed to fit in that? Like... No, it's not going to happen, sweetie. Also, in the previous clips, my mum informed me that my fly was undone, so, um, sorry about that. We have successfully filled every single shoe slot. I mean, how perfect was that? I think it's destiny to have this many shoes. I'm going to put on this little plastic cover, zip it up, and put it under my bed. Well, actually, I think I'm going to put it on the side because I'm going to clean out under my bed anyways. So I think I'm just going to put it against this wall here. Let's open this up. Without all this shoe pile here, it's already looking a lot better. I got this dress ages ago. I'm going to see if it still fits, but my probably guess is no. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not. Is it going to happen? Oh my god. Now what are these? I've had this dress since I was about a seven or eight. I don't know why I still have this, but it's not getting past my shoulders. I look so ridiculous right now. What has my life come to? Like, look at me. No, look at me. I'm pretty sure this is my, from my sister. Kind of looks like something you'd wear to a funeral. I mean, I like it apart from the fact that I can't move my arms. I think my sister or like my mother or like my brother, I don't even have a brother, gave this to me. 
I'm pretty sure this is my mum's, but it somehow got into my wardrobe. Um, maybe the wardrobe fairy put it in there. Who knows? What even is this? That's the question. This is from Halloween. The last time I wore this dress, I was tripping over the back of it, but it's pretty cute now. If I ever need to go to the beach, I think I'm going to wear this. I love both these dresses, although I don't think this one is going to fit me anymore. It's a size 8, but you know, my body shape has kind of changed. I'm going to try it on. I remember as a kid, I used to pretend to be a princess and wear this dress. It is so pretty. Like, I love it so much. It's really pretty, but the back does not do up, and I kind of can't breathe, so... We're gonna have to chuck this one out. As much as I loved it as a kid, it's time to move on and say no to the dress. Honestly, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a cyclist chasing the letter three. Um, so I think I'm gonna give this one a miss. I love this denim jacket so much. It's honestly my favorite item in my whole closet because you can just pair it with literally anything and it looks so good. I actually bought it for the Troy Saban concert when I was how old? I think I was like maybe 10 or 11 and I just love it. It served me so good and it's stretched so it has fit me for like nearly four years. That is crazy and with that I think we are done with my wardrobe. Honestly it looks so much better. We've thrown away a lot of my clothes. We have this huge pile here which is all of the stuff that I don't want to keep and I'm really happy with the way that it's turned out now I'm just going to organize it in skirts and dresses and everything like that I'm going to organize it by the type of clothing and then I'm going to show you the finished result and the after honestly it looks so much better it's not so crammed and hoarded we've got all our shoes in this little shoe organizer and honestly I think it just looks so much cleaner and fresher and I love it this is honestly tiring work. This is my top drawer, which I think is maybe either the most horrendous drawer or the second most horrendous drawer. This is where I keep my undergarments and bathers and socks and things like that. But if we open it up, we need to go through this. I've tipped everything out and I'm going to organize it in categories such as socks, bras, things like that. <sighs> this is going to take a while. I have never seen this drawer so organized in my life. We've got our undergarments, we've got socks, we've got singlets and like shorties and stuff like that. And then over here we've got bathers. <sighs> I've never seen my wardrobe this clean before. Honestly, it feels so good to have this all organized and I just feel so much better. Well, I'm impressed. That's <laughs> so much neater, Angelie. Yeah, I know, right? I haven't done that drawer yet. Oh. <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of t-shirts, so for something fun, I'm going to put on all the t-shirts that I'm going to throw away and put all the rest back in my drawer. like this top and it's quite cute I think yeah my sister brought it back for me for Bali again ow ow mayday we're stuck oh, I just broke a nail I got it on and I'm pretty sure that as I've grown up the buttons are popping. I have so many t-shirts on right now that I cannot breathe. Oh, I feel a bit lightheaded. Oh. 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 This is like the 100 layer challenge of donating clothes. Can you imagine if I put on everything that I'm donating? Honestly, I think this is a look. Like we've got the blue with the yellow, the red, and like this top here is just like so cute with the undergarments. And then we've got this top here, the unicorn top. And we've got this. Honestly, like, this is a look. Yeah. 
Here is my t-shirt straw. <sighs> Get ready. Like, you're gonna need to sit down for this. Because the before and after transformation, it's just like, oh, I've never seen my drawers this amazing before. Oh, let's open it up. How amazing does that look? It is completely color coordinated. We've got the blacks, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, white. We've got our long sleeve t-shirts here. And honestly, I have never seen my drawers this pretty before. It makes me excited to actually pair together outfits. Before, when I went into my wardrobe, I was like, uh, I might just throw on this t-shirt and these shorts because I wear these all the time. But now I feel actually motivated to put together an outfit, which is so good because normally I just stay in my pajamas all day. But this is so amazing. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> now it's time to move on to my short slash. Honestly, I don't even know what's in here at this point. But here is this drawer. It's quite a mess. We've got some leggings. We've got some shorts. We've got some yoga pants. I mean, honestly, this drawer definitely needs some organizing. These shorts have served me well, but they're kind of getting a bit crusty, a bit dusty, a bit saggy. They're definitely very saggy in regions that you don't want pants to be saggy. So we're going to get rid of these. I've been looking for this top for so long and I've had no idea where it is. And I found it at the bottom of my shorts drawer. We also have this cardigan that probably fit me when I was about five. Do I, do I look good? No. <laughs> I've been looking for this top as well. We have these pajama short things. A fun story, I bought two pairs of these shorts, but they had like a light color, like little ring in here. I bought two pairs because I lost the first pair, so I bought another one. And then I lost the second one, so I bought these, and then we found them under my bed. Why is a cardigan in the shorts drawer? Like, this is just the drawer of random things. Um, I feel like those, those suit mans, you know, you see them at Australia Day and they're wearing those, like, green screen suits, but in, like, Australia colours. These pants, I don't even know why I still have them. I mean, they have a rip in them and I've had to stitch them up. Here, it's got a big hole in it. We tried to stitch it up and it's got another hole. Um... Yeah, we're, we're not going to keep these anymore. So now it can be used as a wormhole. Could use it as like a worm cosplay. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Last but not least is my pajama drawer. <sighs> slash pants. Slash total mess. I'm gonna try them on just just for funsies because these do not fit me <laughs> Well, that is my wardrobe all complete this was well overdue and I'm so glad that I did it because it just makes me feel a lot better. This is the inside of my wardrobe with all my dresses and my jackets and things. Honestly, it just, it looks so much cleaner and less messy. And we've got our belts down there. We've got our first drawer here, which is completely organized. I've never seen it this clean before. Second drawer with the color coordinated t-shirts and things like that. My shorts drawer. And my pajama slash pants drawer. Honestly, it just makes me feel so good. Let's move on to the other parts of my room. You honestly can't really see on the camera, but there's so much, look at that. Look at that piece of dust right there. That is disgusting. So I brought back my desk into my room and this is one of my desk drawers. This is like the main desk drawer and there's a lot of random stuff in here like these random animal erasers. We have some gum. We've got some Christmas erasers. We have some macaron erasers. We have some glitter glue. It's just kind of a hot mess in here so... I'm just going to try and clean it up and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done and you can see the final product of this drawer of my desk. 
There's a legit spider in here. Oh my god. I mean, it's kind of cute, but also kind of scary. Oh, where have you gone? Well, now we have a spider in our room. That is so great. I'm gonna love swallowing a spider while I sleep. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. So I've just finished cleaning the entire desk out. We've cleaned up all that mess that was sitting on the top of the desk. And now we have this cute little rose gold pencil, like, hold up, dispenser. I don't really know what you call it, but I'm kind of living for this gold, rose gold, and blue thing that we've got going on. Honestly, super cute. Here is finished drawer number one. Honestly, I feel like I had so much clutter in there before that wasn't even stationary. But now we have our eraser section up here. We don't actually have any erasers at the moment. We only have these macaron erasers, which are still super cute. In the next compartment, we have these sticky notes and a pencil. This is supposed to be like the pencil section, but there wasn't enough pencils and it just looked kind of bland. So I had this cute cookie pencil and it actually smells like cookies. If you guys had smell vision right now, oh, it is so good. Yum. And then here we have pens. We have red pens. We have, I don't really know what color pen this is. We have blue pens and black pens. And then up here we have all our markers. We have Sharpies. We have Vidcom pens. We have whiteboard markers. Let's hope I don't get too confused between all those different markers and use permanent marker on a whiteboard. Let's pray. This drawer had so many unnecessary things before, but now it's holding all like the textures and coloring in things and kind of creative things. And then finally we have this cupboard. All these pencils are so satisfyingly stacked up in order of size. And then back here we have just some like resume binders, just like school reports. These are just like spare notebooks that I've never really used before. And then these are like journals. That and that's basically the whole desk. Honestly, I've been meaning to do this desk for a while and it just looks so good just in time for, you know, studying. And it's good to study in a clean environment. So I'm really happy about that. So I have this net above my bed and I think I'm going to take it down because it's just connected by a hook so I can easily take it down. And don't get me wrong, it is super cute. I had some fairy lights up there before but they just kept falling down and nearly choking me to death while I slept. So I took the fairy lights off but it kind of just collects dust as you can, well you can't really actually see it on camera but it does collect a lot of dust and if I pull it like this next to my face it makes me just cough all night and sneeze and I have a stuffy nose in the morning. And also, something that literally is horrifying. So, when I'm just like laying in bed, you know, having a good time, bugs, cockroaches, bees, crickets climb up this net and literally sit right here. So, I could be laying in bed, looking up, and there's like a giant cricket here. The other day, there was literally a giant cricket. I swear it was like that big. And it was just like staring at me in my face. So we're taking this down. I know I'm cleaning my room, but bugs just like get inside. I think my dog like secretly like stashes them inside my house. But I'm going to take this down once and for all because it just, it was cute for a while, but I've had enough. Okay, I'm going to take down this net once and for all. I'm just going to try and like, no. oh, this is heavy, man. This is so heavy. This is like surprisingly heavy, but I don't want to like accidentally get the hook off the wall. Okay, it's off. It's off. I did it. Oh, we did it. Whoa, it looks so weird without it. Oh, there's a legit moth under here. Ew, oh my God. I hate moths so much and there's a moth under here. That is, are you? That's, mm, that's disgusting. I'm not going to recover from that for a while. My tripod, like my gorilla clip, is just like so flimsy that it doesn't even hold up and it's really annoying. Okay, we're going to try again. Oh my god. It is disgusting back here. Legit pills. Is that? I'm disgusted. I don't even think I can show this on camera. I'm gonna get. Look at that. Look at that. I am disgusted. 
disgusted with myself. Oh my, oh my god. I've had a bug problem in my room for so long. Like, no wonder. No wonder I have a bug problem. That is, listen to my voice. This is, I'm shocked. I just, I just can't really comprehend that I've left, like, how is that? I have a lot of questions. Also, oh, I can't breathe because um, of the dust um, and stuff because I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to dust. <sighs> I'm going to sneeze. And also, I ran out of nasal spray. And my nasal spray is like my Jesus spray. Oh, my eyes are itchy. we got to get this done. Oh, I want to actually throw up. Like I'm... Ew, there's a dead moth there. If you touch that, I'm pretty sure you die. <laughs> Heard that, but I literally get. Ah! Ew, what was that? Something just fell from the roof. I'm pretty sure that was a scary bug. Ah! I want to cry right now. Like, what is this? Our kids, our nation. No, we're, we're not keeping you, sweetie. Ew. Oh, I don't know what just fell in my head and I'm really concerned. I don't think this is really going to work. Look, I'm going to clear everything from this area and I'm just going to vacuum. Because honestly, I don't think we can physically sweep out like all of this mess. This is a tragedy. I need honest help. It's so disgusting. You like my hair? Remember this where there was like so much gross stuff? Yeah, that's that. And I feel like my room's looking a lot bigger because that net is down. Um, but I am going to put up these Polaroids now. Well, I'm going to attempt to. And I'm going to film it. Hopefully it looks right. I think I need some blue tack first. Let's hope it looks alright. <laughs> I've been stuck on my memory But it's not like I need it And you may have some history